how are you doing tonight? This is Catherine Gage, also know, known as KG Beauty Within. I'm a Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant. And I just came on here briefly, and I just wanted to share something with you this, that um, really blessed me this morning. I was on my way to work, and I had a lot of things on my mind. And I caught a glimpse of an eagle. It was just a glimpse. I looked up in the sky, and there was an eagle and I mean, those wings were just so spreaded out. They were just flapping very so gently up in the air. And as I glimpsed at that, I saw that eagle just soar. And, you know, of course, I had to keep my eyes on the road. But that ministered to me this morning because as I saw that, I started quoting that scripture. They that wait up on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. And I begin to just praise God all the way to work. I begin to just get so thankful in my heart because I knew that God was ministering to me. And it's just the small, simple things that he, he does. You know, just seeing that eagle just really ignited something in me. It ignited something in my spirit that I have to just wait on God. No matter what the circumstances are, that I have to just wait on him and know that he's going to work it out. And so I don't know who this is for this evening. I just came to share that briefly with you that... You may have some problems in your life, and you may be facing some very difficult times. But just remember to trust God and let Him work it out. You know, I just thank God for that because it just did something for me. You just had to be there. You know how sometimes they say you just had to be there? It was just one of those ministering times for Catherine. It, it was so... It was just an eye-opener. And you might have saw my video last night about how God just let me find a dollar, you know. And I was just so thankful over that dollar because I had just asked God not to let me throw away my talents. Don't let me throw away uh, money. Help me to be more conservative. And I had just saw a video and it was talking about the same thing. And then I find I have the same experience. I look down and I have almost the same experience in like five just five minutes from the time I posted that posted that video and I'm just like God you are just so awesome you are just so awesome and I love him I love him I just love him and you know it's just the little simple things that makes me happy it don't have to be much it don't have to be extravagant my nieces will let you know auntie cat she gets happy over just if they make me they make me pictures and they paint things for me and they give me their impression of what they think how they think ain't he cat look and i be like oh baby that looks so beautiful oh i just love that and i really do mean that because people don't have to be good to you if you got people in your life that are good to you you best to be thankful because people don't have to give you anything they don't have to think about you. You know, we in that gimme, 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 gimme world. But the truth of the matter is nobody have to give you anything. You have to work for it. And you have to be willing to work for it. You know, I just thank God that he gave me that message today. And I don't know who this is for, but I just came on here to encourage you to just be encouraged. You know, I love being me. There used to be a time that I could not say that, but honestly, you know, I am so comfortable in my skin. I got that page called Love Your Skin, and I love my skin. I love the skin that I, in, I am in. Even when I had, hadn't even started losing the weight, I still loved the skin that I was in. And yes, I went through some depression, and I went through some battles with low self-esteem. But when God brought that, brought that back to me and gave me that, gave me that, uh, um, the love for me, could nobody tell me anything. And that's one thing I love about God. You know, He accepts us for who we are, but He wants us to be righteous and He wants us to be holy. And I thank God for that. I thank God for the word. I thank God. Um, I just wanted to share that today. You know, it was just so peaceful and just such a reminder of his love. He is just, 
He's just so loving and he's so kind. And I don't care, no matter what I went through in my life, he's always been there for me. Whether I've been right or whether I've been wrong, there's been times I had to ask him to forgive me and straight up repent. But in the midst of it all, God is still faithful. So you keep your head up. You keep your head up. Keep your chin up. And if you got some dreams and you got some things that you want to do, then you keep striving to do those things. And don't accept no for an answer. Don't accept negativity. Get that out your life. If you got people in your life that are constantly bringing you down, then you don't need those people in your life. Get them out your life. Because it won't, it, you, won't, you won't be able to go where God wants you to go with negative people in your life. I just don't have time for it. I don't have time for negative people. I don't have time for negativity. I am going somewhere. I got some goals. And I'm not going to be in the same place that I am right now. And I decree it and I declare it that if you trust in God, that he's going to see you through it. So you hold your head up high. And no matter what the endeavor is, it's scary. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to lie to you. Just, just wanting to step out on faith is scary. But knowing that God got my back and knowing God's going to catch me, oh, my God, that is just so amazing to me. So be encouraged. Remember to soar above your problems, and sometimes that's not easy. But if you just keep your eye hands, eyes on God and stay focused, you can make it. So y'all have a good night. Y'all take care. I love you all. With the love of God. Bye-bye.